living food, so amazing. Eat life. Hi guys, welcome to Live Light Well. Today I'm going to show you how to make a simple sauerkraut with a large cabbage that I got from Trout Lake Market. And this is a dish that most cultures have, is sauerkraut. And it's simply cabbage all chopped up and about two tablespoons of rock salt. So you just let it sit for a couple of hours and then you punch it down and simply let it ferment for four to seven days. As you know, I'm doing this whole series on fermented foods because the fermented foods help us to replenish our gut bacteria, the whole spectrum of it. And there's a number of foods, drinks, kefirs, all kinds of things that I'm making. So this is just a simple sauerkraut though, very easy. And again, the fermented foods help us to replace the spectrum of our gut bacteria that we may have lost through uh, taking antibiotics and just being exposed to toxins in our environment or having heavy metals in our body like aluminum, uh, thimerosal, all of those things can send our gut balance out of balance. Fermented foods help us to replace the full spectrum of gut bacteria in our stomach that we may have lost to make us mentally and physically healthier. And this is what fermented foods do. So let's get started. So this is a simple um, cabbage kraut that most cultures produce in some fashion or another. And it's a simple recipe, it's just a full cabbage. So I make sure I use gloves. See it's nice tightly woven together cabbage so it's going to be perfect. And I'm just going to cut up this cabbage really finely. So I am going to add some garlic just because I want extra flavor. And two tablespoons of rock salt, sea salt. So we let it sit for a couple of hours. So we are going to fill this with the cabbage, punching it down really tight. Sometimes I'll put a tiny bit of apple cider vinegar in there and you punch it down in a jar. Pour some of the liquid in here. See, so it's full. Pour it a little off. Stay down low. What I'm going to do is I've bleached and washed this and I'm going to use it to press the cabbage down inside of here. And I'm also going to put this. And then I'll have to burp it periodically and I'll just wash it off but that looks really pretty looks really nice I if stuff drops on the counter I generally don't put it in I'll just eat it because I don't know how much bacteria is accumulated but anyway this is fine 
Okay. When you do punch it down, uh, you have to make sure that the one? crouch, the cabbage is always below the liquid. And I tend to put a jar lid in, top, in the top as well as a piece of cabbage just to hold it secure the lid in place and fully submerge the cabbage. And with this one, I'm going to put this lid in. And I tend to wait about seven days or more because uh, that just gives it, it makes it nice and bubbly. And I burp the jar about twice a day. So I'll burp it uh, in the morning before I go to work and in the evening when I come home. And you let it sit for four to seven days fermenting, and then you taste it. So in addition to this, I'm gonna be doing fermented drinks coming up. You can also watch my personal uh, story about my health challenges to get an idea of how I've learned a lot of this information. So I hope you try this recipe. Let me know if you do. Thank you again so much for watching. And again, I'm doing a whole series on fermented foods, so please watch that. And as well, I will be doing a series on the cause of disease, so keep an eye out for that. And don't forget to eat well, eat life. Bless.